Hey yo, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a new video, baby. It's your boy Era, and I hope you're doing fantastic as usual today. We're reacting to another JJ Olatanja video. So without further ado, be sure you subscribe to the channel, drop a like, man, and let's see what JJ has for us today, man. You know what I'm saying? It's one. It's currently right now. It's Friday night, almost Saturday. So JJ is fighting tomorrow, man. You know what I'm saying? He's fighting a guy called uh, Tommy Face Temper because Dillian Dennis pulled out. You know what I'm saying? So let's see what KSI has got to say about this, man. Yo, 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 what's up? It's your boy K to the S to the I. It's fight week. This Saturday, I'm fighting Face Temper. The boy is ready, but I thought I'd give you guys a few YouTube videos before I enter the ring. And yes, sir. Ready, I imagine uh, the ready will be very different after the Temper fight. Let's Dillian see. Dennis pulled out. What a pussy. Uh, Dillian Dennis has pulled out fight versus KSI Misfits Boxing. Confirms, yep. Yeah. I mean, we all know this is old news now, but yes, Dillian basically pussy. He didn't want the smoke. He got scared and peace out. Dude, after all that shit, he's been talking, pouring coffee in your face, like trying to slap you with a hat, you know what I'm saying? Just for him to pull out and miss out on a big paycheck, probably the biggest paycheck he'll ever get in his life, you know what I'm saying? That's not <laughs> good. Bye by JJ and look where it got me in a year. Before 260 pounds, after 160 Bro, this transformation is nuts. Probably steroids though, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, but that's the first thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, god damn, that's pretty good, bro. Oh my god. Bro, even your beard worked out. <laughs> damn, <laughs> that shit is looking sharp. Yeah, yeah, bro, level fucking hell. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, man. JJ's transformation is crazy, you know what I'm saying? It got me motivated to a new level, you know what I'm saying? Like, I look at Jake. I mean, I look at JJ's fight against Slogan Paul. You know what I'm saying? And and I looked at him now against Pineda. His body just looks so different. Man, you know what I'm saying? He's got more definition now. He just looks more like a beast, man. You know what I'm oh, saying? This is crazy, yeah, bro. I'm looking for this. Let me give you not a gold award, not a platinum award, not even an Argentinian award. I'm giving you this, bro. T A P A. You fully deserve it. This oh is shit. Dude, how oh, much is that one worth? That's like the year most expensive. Is, bro. Like, oh my god, bro lost 100 pounds in a year. Bro weighs less than me now. What the hell? <laughs> I bet it's easy to get women now. <laughs> I bet it's easy to get women now. It's not about that, you know what I'm saying? It's about yourself. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm guessing it is. No, man, trust me. <laughs> and you better be a non my guy, you know what I'm saying? A no fan, semen retention, you know what I'm saying? Paul dropped his response video. He didn't apologize, lied about Coppersilla, and is urging people to keep investigating since it might come out in 2024. Alright, so we've seen both sides. We've seen Coppersilla's side. We've also seen Logan's side. From what the public, or what the vibe is, is that Logan basically messed up. He is sorry. And uh, I think it shows with him deleting both, you know, the impulsive and his first video. And he's going to try and just make things right. Whether that's him paying back the people who have been affected. Either way, Logan isn't entirely at fault, but there is some blame towards Logan because he orchestrated the team or his manager or whatever, like create the team that well out Yeah, man, I went to the comment section of the video, man, there was so much negativity, like freaking um, targeted at Logan, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why niggas were like that mad at him, you know? But at the end of the day, Logan Paul is human just like everyone else. Yeah. He made mistakes and you just learn from I mean, fat mark. A lot of people lost a lot of money with crypto in general, including me. But I Dude, I've seen like a thing saying like Logan might get cancelled like Andrew Tate because of that. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. It might be just fake news. I lost millions. <laughs> millions of crypto. I've literally made no money back from all the money I put into crypto. And I made crazy profit and I lost it all. That's just crypto. I mean, we're currently in a bear market, so this could be the best time to invest or the worst time. It's basically gambling. <laughs> But yeah, Not really, no, my guy. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot about it. I mean, I don't know too much, but I've read, like, you know, Tony Robbins, Anthony Robbins. He's got a book, man. He's got, like, multiple books on investing. You know what I'm saying? So I read a couple of those and I watched a couple of his videos. So I got a good, I got good understanding about, like, investing in bear markets. You know what I'm saying? I mean, when it's a bear market, it's actually the best time to invest. People are more scared. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, I recommend the book called um, Unshakable by Tony Robbins and also. The Path by Anthony Robbins. If you want to read those two books, my guy, if you want to know about investing, you know what I'm saying? 
That's good. That's good. Is actively trying to um, fix the situation. I mean, he called Coffeezilla, you know, apologized to him, and you know, he's apologized to everyone who's been affected. And yeah, he's just trying to fix uh, this whole situation. And I'm, I'm sure he will. I met KSI in Tesco, but didn't have a pen for uh, an autograph, so he wrote it in notes. I mean, I didn't do this. <laughs> Why would I put KSI? Dylan Dennis is a pussy. I would literally turn your iPhone and draw my signature if I was going to. <laughs> so, signature. yeah, this is fake. <laughs> uh, found out months ago, no one cared. Prime in a can, 19 of them. Well, you got your votes now. 4.4 thousand, bro. You got it now. <laughs> Everything happens for a reason, bro. Everything happens for a reason. The reverse gear, be permanently engaged. Uh, Logan Paul called me, apologized, and said he's dropping the lawsuit threat, deleting the rash response videos, and will be taking accountability, apologizing and coming forward with a plan. Well, there we go. And this is what he said in the Discord. Hey all, just want to update you. I delete my initial response to Coffee's uh, series. It was rash. And no game was taken. True issue at hand. So I called him today and apologized. The war is not with coffee. In fact, I'm grateful he brought this to light. I will be taking accountability, apologizing, and coming forward with a plan in the future. Thank you all for believing in this project and sticking with me. I know it's been bumpy, but your support is everything to me, and I will make this right. Well, there we go. Good guy, Logan. Obviously, he's got to try and rectify this, but, you know, he's working on it, and that's, that's the important thing. No, I'm saying you're only defending him because he's your business partner. <laughs> if you want business partner, you will be thrashing him. Uh, go to Wakey Wines and confront him. You got trust Ah, uh, this is my TikTok killer. Yeah. Oh, my God, no! Yeah. He can't keep getting away with this! Yeah, he can't. Stop buying at this price, sir! Well, that's literally it. You guys just stop buying at this price. Just wait, okay? I know there's a lot of hype, but just... Niggas don't want to wait, man. You know what I'm saying? Wait. Wait for the hype to die down so you can actually just buy at a normal price. Don't stop buying Prime at £10, £15, £20, £25, or £100 for Prime can. Just stop. Just stop. How has he got the can? Who is his dealer? See, I don't know if it's a joke. I hope it's a joke. I hope this Wakey Wines guy isn't actually charging me £100 for a prime, a prime can. But if he actually is, then Lord have mercy, man. you got to just stop buying it from him. Just stop buying it at those prices. Recipes KS. Let's freaking 10x the um the warehouse, the production. 10x everything. It's just like that, you know what I'm saying? Diamond. Long live Logsy. <laughs> Logsy. This skit was so funny. I enjoyed doing the skit. I, I had a lot of fun. Logan Paul in case I surprise science with Prime Energy. Yeah, man, I, I, I enjoyed that video a lot. What do you guys think? W or L? Diamond vs. Phase, January 4th. Yeah, I think you're going to destroy a Phase temper, my guy. Or maybe you might hit you with that temper shot, you know what I'm saying? Guys, if you're still watching right now, be sure you subscribe and drop a like right now. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, I was surprised that a lot of people were excited for this fight, even more than Dylan Dennis. So, I was like, all right, fair play. It's helping me understand my way of thinking when it comes to who I should fight. Better than Dennis, but kind of an L since Temper is already being beat badly by Slim. Well, then I'll beat Slim. Or if Tom Zanetti beats Slim, then I'll beat Tom. Uh, just a little disappointed with how much better JJ Clay Oh, was. damn, my guy. You want to step in with Slim? That nigga look deadly, man. The way he knocked out Temper. God dang. Then everyone at Misfits. Overall, gonna be more entertaining than Dennis, though. The thing is, yeah, I do claim to be insane. And it's because I do believe that I am insane when it comes to fight. I mean, after Temper, I'll probably fight either, what, Slim or Woodley or whatever. Also, people have to remember that I've had Woodley. to deal with two pull-ups. With Alex Wasabi, he pulled out and we were scrambling to try and find a replacement. The same is happening with Dylan Dennis. You know, he pulled out. We're repeatedly getting fucked over. <laughs> and like I said, the reason why I'm fighting temper. Niggas sitting here in the gym. Niggas sitting on physique, man. They don't want nothing to do with our bro. It's because Seriously. of Southpaw. I've literally trained to fight a Southpaw for months. And then for me to just go, oh, let me fight Slim instead. It's like, it just doesn't make sense. Because then I've just wasted so much time trying yeah, to train for that, Southpaw. Hey. I might as well, you know, hand. show the world what I've trained for on the big stage. If yeah. I didn't want it, the biggest challenge, he would have picked Slim. Well, I mean, I've said why. Or all so happy. But guys, like, these guys have opponents. you got to remember, like, Slim is fighting Tom Zanetti. <laughs> I can't just... 
take Slim away from Tom Zanetti as well. Tom Zanetti would have to do again two pull-ups or three, three pull-ups. <laughs> and then that destroys the whole idea of what I'm trying to do with Misfits. I'm trying to build everyone with Misfits. And you lot just want me to just can cannibalize and just not give a fuck just so you lot are happy. Like, nah, man. I'm thinking about the biggest. You're down the two fights one night. You know what I'm saying? Like fight Temper and then fight Anthony Taylor. Because that nigga's been calling your name up. Case I said he had a backup fighter prepared since the beginning. And that was that was Joe Fournier. And then we were like, oh, Dylan hasn't pulled out. All right, cool, we're fighting Dylan. So we put Joe on the back banner. He's fighting his mate. And then 10 days before the fight, Dylan pulls out. And we're there like, well, fuck. <laughs> well, recent events hurt Prime and KSI's. Uh, reputation <laughs> crime. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah. I think it harms Prime at all because Prime is essentially, a, you know, a tasty drink. I shouldn't be the reason why you want to drink Prime. You drink Prime. What the heck, man? You're contradicting yourself. You are the reason why niggas want to drink this shit, man. Because you promote it so badly. And it's your because product. Because you enjoy drinking Prime. Like, <laughs> I drink Prime because I enjoy it. I drink the energy drinks because I enjoy it and it tastes better than Red Bull. You shouldn't base your opinion on a product purely through the reputation of the people in Dortmund. What the hell, man? That's exactly what you're doing. But you're saying not to do it, but that's exactly what you're doing. You should have your own opinion <laughs> on how good the product is. You know these NPCs don't have an opinion, my guy. That might just follow what you're doing. <laughs> Surely that makes sense, right? Justice has been served. Wake Wine's banned from TikTok. After advertising new Prime Energy cans for hundred pounds, uh, he's back on TikTok. So uh, God <laughs> damn, that nigga's always fun in the way. Arguing on Twitter live stream. I mean, we're, we're not gonna go through all of this, but basically, it was just a lot of back and forth nonsense. Oh, fight me now! Fight me now! Like we're literally negotiating to fight end of the year, and now he's saying I'm a pussy, and then I'm ducking, and I'm like, no, we're gonna fight. What? I didn't come. Back to God damn, you better make it a stadium fight, like, like in Wembley Arena. I mean, like Wembley Stadium, bro. You can put 90,000 people in there. That would be a massive fight, man. You know what I'm saying? Because boxing to not fight you. Why do you always keep portraying this narrative? It makes no sense and it's stupid. Also, I find it funny that because of the opponents that I fight, maybe it's because I clown his opponents as well, but because of the opponents that I fight, shows the levels of where I'm actually at. But then when I fight Jake and knock him out, then everyone's going to be like, ah. Oh. When I went in this call, <laughs> I was surprised that Jake Paul had fans. <laughs> I didn't know Jake Paul had so many fans, so many people who actually, like, support him. It's just weird to Tyler getting water at 3 a.m. What, and then JJ what? JJ leaving Tyler's room. <laughs> Saw this from a mile off. Why are the side plus nah. one now so much better? Yeah, yeah. Well, I feel like the side plus on for YouTube. Like, these are definitely YouTube thumbnails. You know, eye-catching, bright, blah, blah, blah. Whereas this is a bit more, like, sophisticated. It's just a different platform. <laughs> With YouTube, we got to play the game. <laughs> Put some respect on his name. Swarms is the GOAT. Promotes the fight. Yeah. Turns up to the fight. Yes. All respect to anyone that actually enters the ring. Does this tracks? Yes. Yes. Gave his all. There we go. Bro, he's the GOAT. Swarms the GOAT, man. <laughs> Me looking at a post on Songs uh, messed up, man. entitled Guys Would <laughs> to Make a Good Fight with 1.7k upvotes while my two hour edited meme gains an outstanding 27 upvotes and I laugh my ass off the comment. Uh, I think because of the boxing saga uh, of my life right now, <laughs> it's going to be full of uh, people just caring about boxing. I mean, every now and then we get some good memes, but yeah, majority is to do boxing. I apologize. It's sad to see the demise, but can't do it. Nah, man, I don't need to apologize. Boxing is elite, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man, I bet I know to fuck my camera, man. Fuck me, dude. About it. Bro, 37,000. 38,000, 45,000, 51,000, 51. Oh my god, the Reddit was on fire compared to how it is now. Oh my god, it's just. Uh, uh, yeah, man. Reddit was jokes back then. My right? question now for you just... is why isn't this fight a professional fight, a professional boxing match? You know what I'm saying? Why is it an exhibition? It's kind of annoying. <laughs> It's going to be highs and lows with this Reddit. <laughs> like, it's not going on your record. Best caption wins. When you're about to get laid and she whips out her own dick. <laughs> oh, man.
The yeah. sperms from the first round seeing the second load approaching. <laughs> when she says yes to anal, but comes back with a strap on. <laughs> <laughs> Looking to swap approximately 3,000 bottles of Prime for a five-bedroom house with a spacious garden in or around the Dorking area. Collection Tower Hill Road things. This car. <laughs> Wait, I this nigga actually got crates, man. That's madness. Outrageous. No, man. People are moving mad. To t- <laughs> Pretty mean, reasonable man. questions, I think. The answer's been even from KSI. Why was Joe Funny said to be the backup in case Dylan Dennis pulls out, but not end up being the backup? I've already said this, but he was the backup, and then Dylan Dennis pulled out like 10 days before the fight, and we weren't prepared to then switch up our whole training to find Orthodox fighters, so... We decided to fight the next available. God damn, that would be more exciting because the guy is fought in it all. You know what I'm saying? The guy is undefeated. You know what I'm saying? Joe Forney, that would have been the more exciting fight than Temper. But still, I still want to see your fight. Football fighter who was Temper. Why you find the guy that got knocked out by Slim on two weeks' notice could have done Temper versus Zanetti and KSI versus Slim. Uh, Temper did not want to fight Zanetti. And anyway, me and Slim would have a good build up. Why would we rush me fighting Slim in 10 days when we could have like months of back and forth? Because he truly believes that he could beat me, which I find hilarious. <laughs> like, yes, he's gone orthodox style, but he ain't on my level. <laughs> but the thing is, I can say this. It's hard for you lot to believe it because I haven't been able to show it. Obviously, I get to show a bit when I fight a knockout temper. Even then... I'm still going to have people doubting my ability, blah, blah, blah. So the only way... Nah, man. I'm not going to be doubting your ability much fighting. because of what I've seen in your media workout, man. You looked you looked explosive. You looked quick and you looked sharper, man. You know what I'm saying? The footwork was there. Looked like a little mini Pacquiao, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's why I'm just like, I'm not fast at this. New prime ad. Uh, okay. Why am I down there? All right. Nah, <laughs> boy, subscribe right now and drop a like. This is messed up, man. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. So this is how it is now. <laughs> KSI fans then were looking jacked. Jesus, let's bully the fight league and entertain the subreddit. KSI fans now. JJ, you need to do more training. Ooh, Jake's gonna smash you. It's a random ass tweet by KSI's opponent. <laughs> Yeah, the Reddit is definitely coming through it. <laughs> Guys, hold out, okay? This is the bear market of the KSI Reddit. We can make it through, all right? Eventually, we'll be back in the bull market. I think the bull market will come once I beat Jake Paul. After that, the Reddit is going to be flourishing. As of right now, this is the bear market. Just deal with the shit. <laughs> uh, anyway, this has been your boy, KSI. I will see you lot in a bit. Well, I'll see you this Saturday. Uh, Misfits yes, Boxing sir. 04, baby. Live on the zone, pay per view. I will see you there. Face up, man. Face temper. Peace. Your mother has been waiting for this moment, and it is finally here. What is this? versus temper. Side face up, versus man. face. Who will be victorious? We will find out. JJ or Twinjay. KSI will be fighting a six foot four South Pole. Recently had a knockout as the range of a giraffe and the power of a bull. Oh uh, man, I seen this in the last video, you know what I'm saying? You started off like that, right? Let's see, is there anything else here? Oh no, nah, it's just promoting the fight. Alright man, um Alright boys, I really hope you did enjoy that man. If you did be sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel, you know what I'm saying? I might be making a double upload, Deji made a video, I might be reacting to that, you know what I'm saying? So Drop a like if you want to see that and uh, subscribe. Other than that, man, I'll catch you on the next video. I love you all so much, baby. And I'm out of this era. Peace.